Well, I was living in Harrisburg in 1975-74, and I was approached by a friend who said that um, a small group of women who were part of Al-Anon were looking for someone to help them get a grant. They wanted to start a shelter. Each one of them had been a victim of domestic violence, and one of them in particular described how she had been at home and started to go through a cycle that she was familiar with about being beaten and ran out in the middle of the night in her bathrobe, in her slippers, and went to a phone booth, uh, they used to have phone booths, with a dime, and she had nobody to call. And she stood there and she thought, I can't call my family. The police, you couldn't call them. And at that time, she said, I really believe we have to do something so women have some place to call. So her story became the rallying cry of this group. I had grown up in a home where there was domestic violence. And these women were very much like my own mother. She was very strong, she was very smart, and she had tried in so many ways to seek help. I think in many ways helping this group uh, was also a way I had of helping her. This group uh, was a mix of very practical people. We need to start a shelter and people who wanted to change the world. And that mix was wonderful. We could see that there were big gaps. There were shelters in Pittsburgh, or there were shelters in Philadelphia. But there were so many places in the rural areas. And we decided that a goal that was realistic um, and was one that would provide access to most women would be a goal of 50 miles from any shelter. So that became the goal, that we would like to see shelters throughout the state so that women had access to shelters in every county. I can remember when we first achieved services for every county, which was in 1987, and having watched a mother try to get help and not be able to find help, sorry, <laughs> and then see services available it was so important. It was important for women who were trying to get assistance. Uh, it was important to have a hotline. It was important to have a place to go. So uh, that to me, the, the building of the statewide network is definitely the most important achievement that we've made. We've seen so many achievements that you think, well, if we did this, we can do 10 more laws. I also really believe that it's been the people. Uh, it's really been important to me to have people that I love to work with. Thousands of people who are working, not just in Pennsylvania, but across the country and across the the world who are working to end violence. I, I really do feel very positive about the promise of the future for the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Domestic Violence. And I feel that way for the, for the whole movement. I think that there's wonderful people who are emerging as leaders. There is an understanding now of what the services look like and I, I really feel that um, the, the movement is in good hands. So I feel very positive about it, and I, um, I'm happy to say that we've accomplished so much, and I know we'll accomplish much more.